Let's tap Cuphead himself, for the Goopy Legrande contract. For this boss fight with Goopy Legrande, the pea shooter is more than enough weapon to beat him. In the first phase of the fight, Goopy will hop around the fighting field in an attempt to stomp and damage Cuphead. In order to avoid damage from the attacks of Goopy, put some space between you and him or duck his jump attacks. During the first phase of the fight, Goopy will occasionally transform into a giant fist, aptly named the Blue Bruiser. Just keep firing the pea shooter at a distance and the next phase will come about in no time. Before the start of the next phase, Goopy will toss a coin in his mouth and gulp, swallowing it. Goopy will expand in size, so his jump attacks will cover more space. Goopy will now be able to jump off the sides of the screen. In phase 2, Goopy will also gain a unique attack, along with his growth in size. Goopy will pull back a giant red boxing glove and fling it at you. Creating distance between you and Goopy will help in avoiding this attack. The continuous firing of the pea shooter will begin to stun Goopy. Goopy will have a giant headstone slammed upon him. The headstone will slide from side to side in the field looking for a chance to flop. Avoiding the flops from the headstone in phase 3 is pretty straightforward. Just stay as far away from the Goopy Legrande headstone when firing the pea shooter, and the headstone will soon be KO'd and the Goopy Legrande contract will be yours. If you enjoyed this guide, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content.